From San Antonio, Texas to Taipei, Taiwan, Atlanta City, Georgia, SoCal, and everywhere in between. This is US Airsoft at SHOT Show 2020 from the Sands Expo Convention Center in Las Vegas. What's up, Airsofters? This is Charlie from g and Armament here at Shotra 2020 with Scott from US Airsoft. We're going to check out the new products from us this year. So on our first rack here, we have the Cobalt Kinetics gun. You saw it probably on his channel. He did a pretty good review on it, showing the intricacies about it, fully licensed, everything. Uh, moving down, uh, we have our MBR series, which will be probably coming out within the next month or two. Uh, these will be available at your local dealer, so make sure you check that out in the US market and then internationally that will be available probably in about uh, March or April. Uh, moving down, it's a highly anticipated SMC9 and yes, it is finally out. So after a long year of waiting, it is finally out and we are just uh, kind of showcasing it here, kind of letting people check it out uh, before they want to order it. So uh, make sure if you want to put an order in, contact your local dealer, pre-order it, because uh, the first batch we got in the United States sold out within two days. So really, uh, I think this is going to be the next kind of ARP9 uh, boom in terms of people popularity. And moving down, we have this GC-16 Predator. Um, we already came out with this gun, but we decided to come out with a Coyote Brown color. So different color scheme, but same great internals and great external build outside as well too. And moving to the next rack, as you probably either love it or hate it, and I don't know, I think it's a kind of a 50-50 from what I've seen from social media blasting everything. So, um, but yeah, SSG are actually coming out this year. So uh, whether you love it or hate it, they will be probably, we're shooting around summertime, um, some kind of updates on them. Uh, internally, they're gonna still have the MOSFET, electronic triggering there for program out three round burrs. Uh, it's gonna have a um, kind of 45 degree uh, slide stocks. So you're gonna be able to kind of move it down, kind of get a better cheek well uh, on your gun when you when you have a you know die mask. Uh, and when I previously said in Taipei last year in the summer was that we were working on a carbon fiber one that was gonna have an integrated tracer unit. However, up, update on that, we're not gonna have that anymore, but we do have the UVT-106 tracer unit that Scott just reviewed, and you'll be able to put an adapter and put it on there. So it's gonna be almost identical to the size of the flash hider you see here. So something that you'll have. And uh, yeah, they're gonna be available in all these different colors. So whatever your pick is, whatever your flavor, color you like, we'll have that accommodated for you. Moving down, we have our other kind of ARP9 series, but for the AK uh, line. So we have the PRK9, the RTS, and a uh, 9L. So these are going to be ranging from the, like a CQB, like a 7 inch, and all the way to a 12 inch length barrel. So they're going to have an electronic trigger unit, pre installed MOSFET. And uh, they're going to be fully M lock on the on the 12 inch rail system, so you'll be able to put any attachments as you like. All right, so something new from G&G is our new Japanese style Type 64 rifle here. And uh, it's gonna be made out of fully wood, real wood, uh, nice metal construction, very durable, has a nice, very hefty length to it as well too. And I'm gonna bring this around so you can kind of take. So you'll have a uh, functional bolt right there. And we'll have the selector lever here. So if you wanna kind of make the change from safe to semi, kind of have a dual pull and move it this way and then that way and let me show you how to adjust the hop up the hop up adjustment tool is going to be located on the top where the gas tube is so if you take a look right there you'll be able to kind of make see the changes going it's very subtle but you'll see it kind of moving up and down that's how you're able to adjust the hop up Another cool feature is that we have a, this is kind of like a modified version three gearbox. So it's kind of like an AK, but not really. So uh, what we did is have the new kind of functionality of the G2 systems inside. So you're going to have a nice programmable three round, five round burst as well, but also it has an optical sensor inside and it's going to be able to control with a remote. And as you can see here with the remote, you'll be able to manage your semi, full auto and three round burst. And so if you have a function, you're able to, you have to make sure the magazine is out as well too, because if you don't have the magazine out, you won't be able to use the remote control with the 
the programmable function. So with the programmable remote, you'll be able to make sure you'll be programmed. You have to have the magazine, of course, out, and you'll be able to hit function and hit semi, and it's automatically going to be programmed to semi. So if you don't want to act actually manually hold the trigger for 10 seconds and then move it full auto and then vice versa to, to go back, this is going to make it so much, so much easier to make that programmable in this rifle. So this is a new kind of technology that we have implemented in this nice Type 64 rifle from us. So obviously we are hitting the pistol market hard for 2020 and we've been kind of doing the pistol market for maybe the last couple of years, but I mean, we're definitely doing overhaul since we have our patent technology, which you see a sign right above the pistols, which is the world cylinder valve. Uh, no other manufacturer will have this type of technology in their system and will get better range, better consistency, and just better overall performance out of your pistols when you're using green gas. All our pistols are green gas, unfortunately, no CO2 versions are gonna be uh, available or are planning on being made, but uh, starting from this side, we have our GPM-92. Uh, Scott has done a review on the standard GPM-92. However, we came out with the GP2 version this year, and the, the biggest difference is that you're able to adjust the hop-up inside or outside the outer barrel, um, no, no needing to take off your slide whatsoever, so it's gonna be much easier to make your adjustments on the fly, and there'll be a little bullet keychain that comes with the pistol that you'll be able to make the adjustments right outside the outer barrel. And moving down, you can see we have the nice, like, uh, you know, Scarface kind of uh, cartel gold there. It's limited edition, of course. And what's really nice is we've actually uh, have really nice wooden, real wood uh, grip panels. So you'll have a nice, good firm when you're not using any gloves or anything. And moving to the right, we have our GPM9 MK9 series, or MK3 series, I'm sorry and also the GPM, GPM 9 uh, or 1911 series as well. And more of our competition line, kind of similar to the high kappas, is our own 1911 competition pistol series uh, with different color schemes, different grips, kind of give that comfort, that different level of uh, performance uh, for that person that wants a slight edge in shooting competitively. And then lastly, we have our Piranha series, which we're really happy about. Uh, these will feature a, a fixed slide, so you're gonna get better consistent shots out of them. And uh, with this, you're gonna be able to get better range because the, the slide isn't gonna be moving up and down as you're normally used to when you're shooting in typical other pistols on these. So, um, And then we have our GTP9 series. Uh, this is our full auto version. And then down here is the highly anticipated Rose Gold. One slight change we made, we kind of made it more of a metallic rose gold. So it gives a really nice pop to it, as opposed to the last year you saw more of like maybe a plastic finish on the very top. This really stands out in the crowd and I think it will be a very good seller. And just moving here, it's kind of like our SMC9 breakdown. So uh, people I've been seeing on comments on YouTube and on Facebook, is the GTP9 uh, mm -hmm. gonna be coming out with the kit itself? And yes, we'll have the kit separately sold. So if you already have a pre-existing GTP9, you'll be able to buy the kit itself. However, if you don't own a GTP9 and do like the SMC9, you'll be able to buy the whole complete set as you see here that comes with the lore and everything, so. All right, guys, that does it for us at Shacho 2020 from G&G. &G. Let me know in the comments below and let me know which products you like and don't like and maybe give us some feedback because I'll be watching this video and let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.